It's day nine of Ultimate Big Brother. The time is six o'clock, and the style icon that is George Lamb has pulled it out of the bag once huh? more. A game. I know what you're thinking. Huh? <laughs> Amazing, right? I've forgotten my trousers, guys. I can't believe the good news is they're on a bike, they're on their way. Don't worry. Uh, now, the Victor of Boer effect is in full swing. Ulrika's uh, <laughs> annoying with Cozy Michelle's jealous of Victor and Nick's turn nasty. I'm more finally. excited about you and your I shorts know, and your it. up to your knee socks. Uh, right. There's been more tension and drama in that house. Uh, than there is in a night in Albert Square. Luckily, we have got East Ender star Lucy Benjamin to help us sort it out. Uh, but we don't need to call on Dr. Cl Dr. Leg to <laughs> diagnose. We need to call him Dr. Clegg. Uh, the housemate problem. A psychologist, Dr. Pam Spurs here, everybody. <laughs> and Zig and Zag will be meeting Big Brother 10's Vivian Westwood. With... <laughs> What's going He's on today? To Vivian Westwood <laughs> David Ramsden, it's your legs, John. No, no, no. Oh. the moment jacuzzi manufacturers all over the world have been waiting for has finally arrived, guys. BB5's winner, Anthony, is going back in the house to see Makozi. <laughs> right, on last night's show, Big Brother One's Craig showed him a thing or two about putting up a shed. Yeah. I think I've done pretty well no, on no, my you own. Have, babe. You I have. Good, Look at it. Oh. <laughs> Where's Craig with his power tool when you need him, eh? <laughs> uh, here's what happened last night. Previously on Ultimate Big Brother. Ulrika, she's just sort of moping around. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. She speaks in the third person all the time. Quite irritating. No, 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 no. no idea. She doesn't do cooking. Nick. <laughs> I'm almost waiting for him to do something really nasty. C-H-A-N-T-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. I'm a bad smell under her nose or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. She does demand a lot of attention. <laughs> Read your instructions. Are we all in agreement that these two have done the least amount of effort? <laughs> Kill them both. Between you guys, I've got to pick one of these people to leave the house tonight. <gasps> Nobody wants it, you look. <laughs> I'm sure it's hair from Makozi bits that have fallen out, but because they look like very long pubes. What I'll do is just, you know, stir up a little stuff. You've got some kind of tension between yourself and Aurika. I am this close. Let's get something happening in here. It doesn't have to be a war. Oh, Victor has well and truly thrown the cat amongst the pigeons. So today, our poll question is, Victor, undercover genius, or conniving stirrer. We want to know what you guys think. Now, our next guest has been analysing Big Brother housemates for six years, and she certainly knows what she's talking about. It's psychologist and behavioural expert, Dr Pam Spur. <laughs> I'm so out of breath. <laughs> uh, right, so Pam, we've got the creme de la creme of attention seekers in that house. Uh, six of them are facing eviction this week. Um, you have split them into... Subtle and overt attention seekers. Yeah, overt. Explain that to us. Well, overt attention seeking tends to be exhibitionist, um, over the top. Yeah. And often you can just say something very controversial and that spotlight goes right on you. Right. Now, subtle behavior, on the other hand, is much more discreet. Sometimes a housemate uses it and it seems to be doing something nice for another housemate, but they get the focus of the spotlight on them. Right, okay. Well, let's, let's talk about all of them. Let's start off with them. Um, Chantelle, she's been crying quite a lot and has been quite upset in the house. I didn't think she'd be an overt attention seeker, though. One tearful episode and she'd be subtle. But because right. it's been multiple and she knows that a relationship is always big news in the house, so the fact that she's crying over what's happened with Preston gets loads of attention. Okay. Now, when you look at the viewing public, there's something called the primacy effect. It's a psychological principle where your first impression, if it's very, very bad, or very, very good, it's hard to shift. Right. Now, she had a very good, good one. one with winning Celebrity Big Brother. Yeah. So no matter how she behaves, it'll be very hard for the um, public to shift that attitude. OK, uh, let's move on to Nikki. Ulrika has said that if Nikki doesn't get attention, we all know about it. So it's yes. quite obvious she's an overt attention seeker. <laughs> yes, with her infantile <laughs> emotional outbursts. That's what she does, and we see it clearly in the newspaper task. OK, we've got a clip of that, I think, here. It's not the <laughs> <laughs> See? See? I'm used to watching this on telly, being around them, because I'm not used to it yet. Take a deep breath. <laughs> it doesn't even work. Okay, but that's the world. Like you've already done two pages. <laughs> well, they're not going to give us the party now if I don't get it We done. don't know there's a party, Nikki. We don't know. You're all... 
She acts like a naughty toddler, doesn't she? The thing is, that can be very annoying to other housemates. You know, Ulrika nominated her because yeah. of her annoying, attention-seeking behavior. But that's what we want to see, though, isn't it? Nikki's tantrum. Yeah, and I think the public are really going to appreciate the fact that since her first time in the house, she's actually learned to manage her emotional impulses to, right. to some extent. So we get enough of that behavior that keeps us locked in viewing, okay. but not too much to sort of turn the viewers off. OK, and what about Ulrika? I didn't expect her to be there as well. She doesn't seem... Oh. Too over the top. Well, that's because it's quite <laughs> sly. You see, she turns any big Ooh. conversation into her. It's all about her. So when she's right. telling the um, housemates here about how Nadia intimidates her, she uses big gestures, big body language signals, facial and expressions. Big facial expressions, yeah. Keeps the tension on her. Now, what's interesting is she's mimicking her journey in the Celebrity Big Brother house here. So she's using a psychological formula where she went in, she became a mother hen, yeah. then she became vulnerable, and then she rose above it and became strong, and she won Celebrity Big Brother. Yeah. Now we wait to see well, whether it she... for her again? It might if she goes back into that strength that she had in Celebrity Big Brother. Okay. Um, now, Makozi is somebody I didn't expect to see in the subtle ca category. She showers in front of everyone. She's always wearing her heels. She's not a very subtle person, I don't But think. because she has such a big personality, she's not actually strutting around the garden in her, in her bikini. Right. She's not posing and pouting. She's just showering. So it is a very subtle device for her to get <laughs> that attention. You know, she could be doing it so much bigger. Right, now, okay. unlike Chantal with the primacy effect, she's dealing with a very negative public opinion from yeah. her original stay in the house. Yes. And people find it very hard, even if she keeps all her bad behavior in check, okay. they find it very hard to shift their attitudes. Okay, is Nick doing it the same way as Makozi? Very different. Now, Nick's been really cunning about that because before Victor entered and they had their bromance that started, yeah. when, when housemates were teasing about being nasty, Nick, he kind of gave these little non committal looks, got them talking about it, got them feeling a bit paranoid about yeah. what he's up to, and it's even increased that intensity. Now he's got this thing going on with Vic. It's a little bromance. I love exactly. it. Um, and why? Why is Nadia in the middle? Because Nadia, oh, such an attention seeker. She has both overt attention seeking and subtle. Now, on the overt side, think about the big head's task. Yeah. As the shutters start to rise in the Big Brother house, she immediately starts screaming so loud she wants to get out and see if there's a party in the garden. So that's not just excitement? Uh, no, over-the-top excitement. No, she screamed. She made sure her pitch went above everybody else. Right. They then get out there. She sees Makozi get to Michelle. She then tries to get in there. She can't. Nikki gets in the way again, and there she starts jumping up and down. She wants that attention no matter what. There she's left empty-handed, but she's still trying for attention. Okay. On the subtle side, though, she takes over the conversation that where Brian and Ulrika were giving Chantel in the bedroom some comfort. Suddenly, Nadia makes it her own conversation. Okay, uh, Pam, thank you so much. I'd love to go on forever, but we haven't got any more time. Give it up for Pam Spur. Uh, now, this housemate was Vivian Westwood's biggest fan until he met these two fashion gurus. It's Big Brother 10's David Ramsden with Zig and Zag. <laughs> It's David Ramsden! Hey! 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 David, matey! How's Good day, matey! I'm all right, how are you, darling? Not too bad. Very Listen, good. how weird is it, though, coming back only a year after your Big Brother 10 experience? Oh, it's every time I come up that, up that road and car, I yeah. just feel like I'm going back in. It back just, in it time. It just comes back to you, do you know Does what I mean? It? Does it? Now, now, you had your 29th birthday yes. in the house. 29th birthday yes. in the And you house. received a letter from none other than Vivian Westwood. Yeah. What? Yeah. Wow. Who is she? Fashion. Who is Fashion. she? <laughs> Vivian. Come on, you don't Oh, okay, I got it. I got it now. Yeah. Like how, a, hap how happy were you that day? Because she's like she's like your idol, isn't she? She's the queen. Yeah. She's the, she queen. the queen of fashion. She's the queen of fashion. And I know it sounds silly, but as soon as I saw the, the handwriting on the letter, I yeah. just knew it were from. You knew it? No. I knew. <laughs> Because obviously I've got a book on that, I've got her autograph. Yeah. Oh yeah. So every time she signs a name, right. she always signs it with a love heart at the end. Oh, love yeah. heart. Very yeah. nice. Like a love heart. It's going on a bit, isn't and it? And the envelope yeah. was We'll have to cut it out a bit, won't we? It's <laughs> alright, yeah, go on, keep going. Keep going. And, and, and the envelope were absolutely a put the kettle one, on. really posh envelope. <laughs> alright, go on. To cut us. <laughs> yes, to cut it on. Cut it on short, short. He's right. gonna make it short. I, okay, here we go, everybody. Here we go. Come on, here we go. He opens it and it was a letter. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Have you met her since you left? Yeah, I've met her. No. Times, yeah. no way. I have, yeah. Yeah. 
She invited me down to London Fashion Week. Did she? Wow. Me and Lisa were partying with the celebrities. Ooh. Wow. You got on very well with Lisa. Do you still keep in touch? Absolutely, yeah. We're in contact every weekend. All time she, contact. I've got like three weekends with her. Yeah. All right. Yeah, she's doing really well, and that friendship in there is well, proper real. I love chips, but not as much as I love you. Thank you, darling. <laughs> it's time to say nanu nanu to David Ramsden. Thanks, David. Yeah. Thanks, David. I love you more than Kit, Gemma. Yeah. Yes. Uh, now, we're here with a man who loves fake tan, 70s dancing, and a little dip in the tub. It's BB5 winner, Anthony Hutton, everybody. Yay! Uh, yeah, you? Yeah, sounds good. Right, you're in the original house with Makozy. She's talked about you quite often since she's Aye. been in that house. She hasn't shut up about us, has she? She hasn't, no. Would you like to see what she said <laughs> about Obviously you? Obviously, you left today? a lasting impression, Anthony. Aye, uh, well, good performance in the jacuzzi, you know. Yeah. So. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Do you want to see what she said earlier on? Oh, well, then. Okay. I am surprised Anthony's not here, actually. Why? Because he's a big one, He was the he? winner. And... But he was a big one because of me. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, seriously, he was a big one because yeah. he, he said he did not have sex with me. That, that's what made him so big. So, yeah, if they want to bring him in, let them evict me today and bring him in tomorrow. Would you not be in here? I don't want to be in the same place with him. Oh. So she reckons that, that you're only one because of her. Yeah, that's so big-headed, doesn't it? She I'm, is. She's a bit of a big head. I'm bringing more to the table than just the jacuzzi incident. You what? The dancing was amazing. I, Geordie, yeah. I'm decent banter. I thought your relationship with Craig. I think it was more Craig. Why I won more yeah, than Macozzi. Yeah, it was like. amazing. Uh, now Pam Spurrier has said that Macozzi's an attention seeker. Would you agree? Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. I mean, but pretty much every Big Brother contestant is likes a little bit of attention, don't they? But yeah. she massively. I mean, when I was in Big Brother Six, there was massive characters, but she pretty much took over. So yeah. she, now, she said, and she said she's in political exile from Africa after your hot tub session. Did you realise that the whole of Africa was up in arms? I'm, a, I'm actually quite pleased with that. Yeah. I think that's a, like, to a really... To get a whole continent that's like, reeling, that's, that's just like pretty man impressive. That's point, isn't it? That's, just, <laughs> yeah. that's a good effort, like. Um, we tried to speak to the Zimbabwe embassy earlier on to get a comment from them, but um, they didn't want to comment. It just yeah. pied, just no. pied, yeah. They were all in the jacuzzi, apparently. <laughs> uh, do you think she's overreacting? Yeah, without a doubt, but... Again, I just think she's doing it for, you know, she's saying bold statements and she's saying it because she wants the attention on her. Like, yeah. she, that's what she's, that's our game plan. Okay, well, um, we might make Big Brother, uh, Big Brother 5 history uh, repeat itself because Anthony is about to be paying a visit to Makosi later on in the no show. Way. Yes. No way. No way. get yourself ready no way. To pop yeah. in there. I'm going to go now. You're going go in the then. house. I'm, I'm going to do it now. Anthony's going in the house, guys. Yeah. Um, are you really going in the house? Is he, he is. serious? Uh, we'll find out how it's getting on after the break. Yeah, don't miss it, guys. Uh, plus, we'll be talking to EastEnders' Lucy Benjamin. <laughs> and do you remember this moving moment? In your eyes, eyes, your eyes, they tell me how much you care. Doesn't sound so good. Looks hilarious. <laughs> I know. Uh, well, a new nasty version could be on its way, George. What? Little clue there. Uh, we'll find out what she's talking about after the break. Yeah! <laughs>